Welcome to Duke, North Carolina. This is day one of basketball camp. So Lincoln is out here. Being tired. You are super tired. With his short buddy, Easton. Hi. Easton's been in a lot of videos. The best one that he's been in is probably the Nerf video where he decided to shoot me in the groin with a Nerf gun. This is uh, Lincoln's second summer camp. He did BYU basketball camp a few weeks ago and we thought that we'd change it up a little bit and come out here to Coach K's camp. I'm gonna show you guys what it's like. We really don't know yet, we just arrived. And uh, let's go see what this camp's all about. We have made it to the Cameron Indoor Stadium. Mm -hmm. Duke. Duke. At least they have the right colors. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good. This is Coach K's camp, and Coach K has more wins than any other college basketball coach in the history of college basketball. So they're sitting in the Connecticut team area, UConn, whatever, I guess that's their team for the week. And the good news is Lincoln and Easton are on the same team. How's it going so far? Um, our whole team went the wrong way. That's good. So now we're lost. Not off to a good start. Yeah. Yeah, Lincoln's team got lost. They went to the, the younger kid area. So now they're gonna go find their basketball. Which one did they say you go to? Wilson. Wilson. Zach Wilson Center. There they go. I'm renaming their team from Connecticut to the Lost Boys. All right, the boys went to the Wilson gym. That is also not the right gym. Now where are we headed? We are going a, a track? Track. I don't know. I don't know, but they're lost. Again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, why didn't you just stay with your team? Our whole team went this way. Oh, then where's your whole team? Our whole team is scattered throughout. This gym and the gym back there. You would never think that's the basketball arena right there. This looks like some office building. I leave the boys and I'm gonna go work out and then come back later on to see their games where they actually play their first couple of games. And they kind of assess the teams and from there they make a decision whether they're going to keep everybody on the same team or maybe switch the teams up a little bit to be fair. Right now Easton and Lincoln are both on the same team and I hope it continues that way but there's a chance they might get moved. So next thing you'll see are some games. Game one, and they're actually playing their game one at Cameron Indoor Stadium, which is pretty cool. And it looks as though the basketball hoops have been here since the 60s. <laughs> they're like these wooden ones that are on the side that say no dunking. Lincoln's friend Easton is so tall. He's like six foot two, and he's even younger than Lincoln. He turned 13 in like March, and he's a really good ball player. So this will be fun. I'll try to get some good shots of these guys playing.
Well, one of the kids on their team that was tearing it up, he hurt his ankle really bad. It was almost like Paul George when he broke his leg. Ouch. I looked down for a second, I turned off the camera, and then it happened. I'm so glad I didn't film it. So I think they're calling an ambulance right now, gonna get this kid out of here, get him to some good medical care, but ouch. Coach K just came out, they told him about the situation, and now he's talking to the kid that fell. I'm, honestly, I'm surprised. Like, there's no reason why any of these kids should be playing ball against this wall. There's like a hoop and a wall right there. If Lincoln and Easton have to play on either one of these two courts where there's no room behind the hoop, I'm gonna have to hold him out and not let him play because that's dangerous. That kid is a good athlete. And it looks like what happened is he came down, he stepped against the wall and then somebody hit into it and it just completely broke his bones, both of his bones in his leg. Everybody was supposed to meet in Cameron for the end of the day competitions and fun things. The kid has been on the ground for probably 45 minutes. They have the paramedics that have just showed up. They put an air cast, they cut off his shoes, put an air cast on his leg. I, I need, yeah. I still feel sick about it. I just feel so bad for him. I got a rebound, I passed the ball up to him. He was sprinting with the fast break. He tried to make a layup and he got fouled, but there's a wall. Like, there's the it's side, a, there's the a sideline. the wall I've ever seen. There's a sideline, yeah. this is how big the sideline is, and this is how much distance there is on top of the wall. So he's running, he's running, and then he got fouled. His foot like hit the wall, Yeah. like all funny. And then it like came upwards and outwards oh. I saw a, well, the bone Eel. the whole circle of the bone and then his ankle turned backwards the other direction yikes oh. What was that agility thing? The agility oh, thing at we the track? Yeah, like we hour. did we're conditioning on the track. Yeah. In <laughs> this huh? weather. It was crazy. That's good for you, man. I was sweating the most I ever have. Oh, hey, that's good. How's the free Gatorade? You taking advantage free of that? Gatorade is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> Look at this at Duke. At least they know how to, they definitely know how to do the Gatorade drink station right. Did you see that mm -hmm. the injury happen? Yeah. yeah, he was it out was a at loud the time. Pop too. Oh, I didn't hear the pop. Oh yeah. Ah, that's Stupid bad. Wall. That wall. So dumb. Like I could see maybe in the 40s when they built that wall. I remember before the game, I was like, "Hey, look at that hoop. It's like 40 years old or 50 years old." And I'm like, "That's cute. That's nice." But I didn't even think about the wall that's right there. Oh yeah, we ran into it so many times during layups lines. Oh, the the sideline. You have to be like this when you're passing it. You have to be like this. This is how wide it is. I, I know we shouldn't keep talking about this, but the one thing I thought was interesting is that everybody ran as soon as they saw it and they were covering their mouths and running and screaming. Why yeah. were you running away? I was not, I, I was like walking away, but I saw it and it's just, it's like, it made me nauseous. It just, it does not look right. That's how, that's how bad it was. Did the coaches that, tell you to go somewhere else? No, they didn't say a word. We just all, everyone just, some people were like sinting like five kids were all huddled in the corner like uh-huh the, the other corner? end what in the corner yeah so next time if something like that happens to somebody you can look away for a second but you got to go and help support people yeah. take care of them make sure they're okay at that point like the coaches were all like running towards them and like yelling for for help okay that's so, fair okay that's fair uh, that's fair.